to join us for a couple of minutes. Well, he could say, yeah, why not? I'll give him a break. Hey, what a job you did in the eighth inning today. Oh, thanks, guys. I always want to talk to you guys. <laughs> we hope so. <laughs> you strike it. What was it a um, what'd you throw to Brignac when you struck him out? That was a changeup, a 3-2 changeup. Uh, it was kind of a little, little higher than I wanted to, but uh, he got, I got him to chase, so it worked out. So, Tyler, you're now sporting the fastball, the split finger, the changeup, and the curveball. That's right. And how often do you throw the splitter? Uh, you know, I, I try to throw it when I'm heading the count. Um, you know, 0-1, 1-1, 0-2, 1-2, that kind of thing. Um, you know, maybe uh, two, three times an outing at most. Tyler, today was your 389th appearance for this ball club. Nobody even close to those numbers. And Ray and I kept saying, when Clifford comes out of that bullpen, the other team has got no shot. <laughs> well, I appreciate that. Um, I like to think uh, that they're thinking that, um, you know, maybe some days more than others. But, uh, you know, I've just been glad to, to kind of put the curly W on my chest for as long as I have. Uh, it's not... It's not every day you see relievers stick around as long as I have. I'm just proud to kind of be a part of it and uh, hopefully for a lot longer. I want to go back to the four pitches. I don't know anybody in baseball, and I played for quite a while and been around a long time, that has four pitches out of the bullpen. Four pitches that they can rely on, Tyler, and, uh, and they are. I mean, they're all dominant pitches. And just the development over the period of time of four pitches. I know you were a starter with the Yankees, and uh, they had you set up and stretched out as a starter. You've been a reliever for a long time, and, and you just haven't dropped pitches. You actually added a pitch. Yeah, you know, it's just one of those things. I've, I've always considered myself a, a pitcher uh, more so than a thrower. And uh, down in the bullpen, I feel like some guys uh, get caught up in, you know, not being able to, to go to all their pitches, maybe just relying on two each outing or something like that. But I've always kind of just been very stubborn in, in the fact that I want to throw all my pitches. And just it, it gives me a comfort level out there on the mound to know that the hitters don't know what's coming all the time, that I can have a, a big arsenal like that to kind of keep them guessing, um, you know, behind or head in the count. Uh, and, and that just gives me confidence with each pitch that I'm throwing. Tell her before we let you go, Ray just mentioned the fact that you were a starter and the earn rate average now, it started today at 1.76. This is your 50th appearance of the season this year, but the mindset going from a starter, and I think we talked about this with you earlier, starter to a reliever, it's totally different when you start a game than when you know you're coming in from that bullpen and there's problems most of the time. Yeah, exactly. You got to be ready. You got to be on top of your game and you got to you got to make sure uh, you know what's working for you on that day, and, and that's kind of what you try to figure out in the bullpen uh, before you get in there. But uh, sometimes it doesn't always work out that way. You just kind of got to have, have, a, have a good feel for what you're trying to do each outing um, and, and kind of go from there. And I've been able to uh, kind of have some pitches I can rely on in some tough spots throughout my career, and, um, and, and you know, I've had some success. Well, we always appreciate your time, my friend. Thanks for sticking with us, and uh, we'll catch with you again next time. All right. Thanks, guys. Appreciate you bet. it.